wanted to start with you. Caleb embarks on this journey of self-discovery after being exposed to HIV. How did you create the space for yourself to explore the wide range of emotions that Caleb uh, undergoes throughout the film and his process of coming, uh, removing the stigma around HIV? Well, I was very lucky in the fact that the writer and director of this movie, Jared Frieda, uh, he loosely based the story on his own experience. And so I had this resource, you know, right in front of me, like our closest collaborator was someone that I could turn to at any moment. And, and he would give me such amazing kind of guidance. And then also, you know, I was really able to pull a lot from my own life um, with, with a lot of what Caleb goes through, you know, uh, gay, Jewish teen, um, going through, um, you know, an experience that he feels is, is something that's deeply personal to him that you kind of have this war inside your mind before you you know share it with someone else and that's always such an important step in kind of working through something like this but um yeah for me it was just about kind of like time traveling back to 17 and and remembering how every single thing felt like the end of the world and then on top of it mm. he actually is going through something that is that's very very serious and very intense um and you know, the thing that made me fall in love with the movie is that the message is he's going to be okay no matter what. And to kind of see him go on that journey, it just really touched me. And you've grown up in this industry and you've seen the slow progress towards more inclusive storytelling, which has been re uh, reflected in the projects and the characters that you've played. What was it about three months and Dara in particular that drew you to this role? I mean, immediately upon reading the script, I was like, I want to do this. You know, I, I felt so drawn to it immediately. Um, and not just the Dara character, but also um, Vivek's character and Tori's character. And I just, I saw myself and I think a lot of um, Asian Americans through these characters and, and, you know, the generational traumas and pressures that we carry, um, the ability to, um, accept ourselves and all of our individual qualities. And, you know, I was just being able to, being able to work as an Asian American in this industry, I mean, is incredible. And we're headed in a great direction, I think. Um, but to play this specific character that is so nuanced that, um, you know, isn't your typical best friend character, I think it was important for me and, and for the community. Yeah, 100%. And Vivek, uh, one of the central relationships in your character's life is with his parents, but we don't see the interaction uh, often on screen, which makes his need for parental approval all that much more relatable. How did you create that backstory for yourself? Well, it's interesting because um, you don't see that relationship on screen, really. You don't see his parents. And, uh, and I sort of thought about that and go, like, you know, actually, there's not really that dialogue there anyway. So the dialogue that uh, Esther has is a sort of mental dialogue with himself, which is um, unhealthy um, uh, to a sort of crazy degree, especially when you're going through something like he is. So I think that that relationship with Troy's character, uh, Caleb, I think that relationship is incredibly beneficial to him because, you know, you talk to someone going through the same thing, the same thing that you are. And I think he's also appreciative of, of, of Dara, who Brienne plays, um, but I think uh, there's not that same connection. So although he is nice and sort of friendly, he can't quite understand why, uh, why Dara is just sort of roasting him uh, with her eyes uh, every time she looks upon him. <laughs> And then final question for all of you. There's such a great chemistry that comes off the screen uh, between all of you. How did you build that bond during a pandemic? It was because of the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say too. A little bit of, of that, yeah. I mean, we, we really, I mean, like, like anyone who was, I don't know if you remember who you were with when the world fell apart, but we were together, you know, and um, we had already started this journey. I think we were like maybe a week and a half, two weeks into mm -hmm. filming, kind of just starting to find our feet. And um, every day things were changing hour by hour, things were changing. And then, so, you know, we were like, okay, well, we'll just hang out in Atlanta and wait two weeks till this whole thing blows over. Mm -hmm. And it, it didn't. So, you know, then we had the six month period but where we didn't do anything and we all kind of went to our separate place and we were all just kind of keeping in touch about mm -hmm. when we were going to come back and if we were going to come back. And so 
I really feel like we have been through something together. You know, this movie already felt so intimate in as far as the people that were making it. We're all, you know, really, really close and we all really care about it. But um, but it's been like a hell of a journey, you know. So I think um if anything, that just you know brought us closer and and the I think the friendship and the chemistry that you see on screen is is really real. So we didn't have to try too hard. It's also yeah. super nice coming back um when we came back to finish um, after after the world had melted down um as it still is sort of semi-melted um but but after we came back it was really nice for me personally because i think i think a benefit of like being an actor and acting is that you get to work with people that are very very different from you and, and troy and brianna very 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 different people from me and that was it was really refreshing to be around um and they made me sort of slightly less uptight for the moments that uh, that we were together. So that was really lovely. Mm-hmm.